Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being here to practice yoga today. My name is Kelly Skinner, and it's a real uh, privilege to guide you through your vinyasa practice. If you'd like to play music, you can follow me on Spotify, Kelly Skinner. And the playlist for this class is called Beauty All Around. You'll have to scroll down a little bit, but then you'll find it. Okay, and um, you can start playing that um, when it feels ready for you. Good for you, because we'll start in child's pose today. Um, so you can start it right away if you'd like to. Okay, so I'm gonna climb over to my mat and we will begin. So you'll find child's pose. Bringing your knees wide, bring your toes to touch, drop your hips back to your heels, reach your arms forward, planting your palms. And rest your forehead on the mat. And then, of course, if that's not comfortable, you can find a different variation. You can put a prop under your head. Or you can come right into stillness, or you can find a little movement from side to side, maybe swaying your hips, rocking your forehead from side to side. And then as you feel ready, I invite you to come into stillness. And scanning your body here, notice what's present. All right, in your physical body, what does this feel like through your hips, through your groin, through your low back, your mid back, your upper back? And bring your awareness to the rhythm of your breath watching its rise and its fall. Noticing sensation around your neck and the shoulders as your arms are reached out in front of you. And simply honor your mental, emotional state. I shine light on whatever it is that you're feeling, how you're feeling your thoughts around your current situation. You just notice the quality, the context, the tone. And without getting too attached to any of the thoughts or any of the feelings, bring your awareness back to this movement of your breath within your body. And begin to pay attention to the ways in which your breath is moving from within. So as you inhale, where is your breath filling? Where is it expanding into? Belly, low back, chest, mid back, throat, nostrils, back of your neck. And where it draws away from as you exhale. So everything draws in. Let's take a few more breaths right here to land, to arrive. If you'd like to bring to mind an intention or a dedication for your practice, consider that in your mind's eye here. Hmm. We'll take a deep breath in through your nose, filling up. Open your mouth, exhale, let it all go. And press into your palms, use an inhale to rise up to tabletop. And draw your knees so they come right underneath your hips. And if it feels okay on your wrists, I'll have you turn your fingertips towards your knees here. So your hands, your fingers are pointing your knees, right, flipping your wrists. Tuck your toes under, and we'll start to make some circles here. Right, and you choose the, the kind of circle, right? Your hips. May just move in this circular direction, or you might add a little fluidity, a little movement, like a cat cow movement through your pelvis, tucking and untucking. It's like a little fancier <laughs> of a movement. And if it feels good in your body, do it. If it feels off or uncomfortable, maybe don't do it. You decide. And then switch the direction of the circle.
Notice what this feels like in your body as you start to massage the internal organs as we start to wake up the physical body. Then come back to center. And now we'll start to make some circles with the wrists, right? So really dropping the hips back. So you're feeling this opening through the fronts of your wrists, right? If this is hurting you at all, your hands can also come to the side. It'll get a little bit of a different movement. All right, and then switch the direction. <clears throat> and then come to center and we'll just start to drop the hips back a little bit. Keep your palms firmly planted on the earth. You really open up through the front of the wrist. Right, and then come forward, flip the right palm, give it a roll. And then bring the top of your right hand under the mat, straighten your right arm. And then plant your right hand, release the left wrist, give it a roll. Mm -hmm. And then bring the top of your left hand onto the mat, straighten your arm, open into the front of the wrist. Beautiful. Then plant both palms, if toes aren't tucked under, tuck them under, send your hips up and back, and we'll find our first downward facing dog. And find some movement here. I always like to paddle out my dog as I first come into it. Bend and straighten one leg at a time. Can lift up onto the tips of your toes. Maybe they get they have a little crack. Drop your heels down. Right, free movement. What feels good here? As you begin to explore how your hamstrings, backs of your calves, right? How are they showing up today? What messages are they giving you? And spread your fingers wide, press up through the root of each knuckle, the center of each palm, with a little more attention, a little more weight in your pointer finger and your thumb. And then externally rotate your upper arm bone so your shoulder blades are moving wide across your back like angel wings. Drop your head, drop your chest, and bring a slight bend to your knees, move your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale, let it go. <sighs> Use an inhale to send your right leg straight up, three-legged dog. And keep your hips stacked here to begin. Really extend through your right heel. Try to straighten your right leg as best you can. And as you exhale, then we'll stack the hips. So stack your right hip on top of the left. Let your left heel drop down towards the earth. And maybe you bend your knee. Let your heel drop to your tush. Lower your right shoulder to meet your left shoulder. It often tends to pop up. Then inhale, extend your right leg, hips are square. Exhale, draw your right knee all the way through to your chest. Pause for a moment, take a breath in. And exhale, step it all the way through. And let's actually lower the left knee to the earth today. Fingertips come underneath your shoulders or hands could come to blocks if you have two yoga blocks or any props, okay? And we'll stay right here. So let your pelvis move forward and down. Just make sure your right knee doesn't go beyond your right ankle. And as your pelvis moves forward and down, you press into your fingertips to pull your heart forward and up. So your heart's being pulled between your arms. <sighs> Release your jaw. <sighs> All right, a place that we hold a lot of tension without even realizing it. So you'll hear me cue, release your jaw over and over and over. Take another breath in here. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> And then plant your palms, tuck your back toes, step back down, we're facing down. Beautiful. And then on an inhale, send your left leg high now, three-legged dog. Left leg straight, heel extends. See if you can drop your right heel a little closer towards the earth, opening through your calf. Hmm. Then we'll stack the left hip over the right, lower the left shoulder so it meets the right. And then bend the knee if you'd like to, opening through your quad. Yeah, take another breath in. And then square your hips, extend your left leg. Exhale, draw your left knee to your chest, pausing in plank. And then inhale, step your left foot all the way through. Yeah, and then lower your right foot, top of your um, top of your back foot and your right knee. Fingertips come underneath your shoulders or onto props. Let your pelvis move forward and down as you pull your heart forward and up. Right between your arms. Left knee right over your left ankle. 
The right hip is drawing forward, the left hip is moving back. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. One more here, inhale. And exhale. Plant your palms, tuck back toes, step back, downward facing dog. Take one breath in here. Exhale, clear it out. Bend your knees, look forward, take one or many steps, walking your feet up to your hands. Okay, coming to ragdoll, bringing your feet hip distance apart, which is about two fists between your inner arches. Bring a little bend to your knees, let your head, neck, and shoulders be heavy, let them drape. Arms dangle or take a bind, grabbing opposite elbows or biceps. And stay still or sway from side to side. Like flutter your lips, that's what I did there. It's called a horse breath. On an exhale, you flutter your lips, sort of let out any audible sighs. Open and close your eyes really wide. Open and close your mouth. Nod your head, yes. Shake your head, no. And then release your arms. Bend your knees a little bit deeper. Bring your fingertips about a foot in front of you, maybe a little less. And as you inhale, press into your fingertips to pull your heart forward, lengthen your spine. You can also slide your hands up your shins, right, to do this. Exhale, fold forward into that space. Twice more like this. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, fold, really connecting our breath with our movement. Last one, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. <sighs> On your next inhale, root down, rise up, arms sweep all the way overhead, reach high. Exhale, hands come through your heart and then alongside your body for Tadasana, mountain pose. And bring your drishti, your gaze to one point. Just gonna move you back a little, my head's cut off. <laughs> and notice your breath. Notice the nature of your mind, right? Are you feeling distracted? Are you feeling grounded? Or somewhere in between? Calling on your intention or your dedication, remembering it as we move through our vinyasa, our flow today. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Use an inhale to sweep your arms overhead, reach high. Exhale, folding forward, bend your knees as you dive. Inhale, flat back, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float back to plank. As you exhale, lower knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, elbows hug in, lowering two-thirds point. Press into the tops of your feet, pelvis lowers. Inhale, pull your heart forward, shoulders move down your back, elbows hug in. Low cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, hips move up and back, downward facing down. Three breaths here, finding hand, hand, foot, foot. Steady gaze right between your toes. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Bend your knees, look forward, step or float, top of your mat. Inhale to lengthen, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, root down, rise up, arms sweep overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart. Building some heat here. Inhale, arms sweep overhead, reach out. Exhale, dive, bend your knees and fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa, your way to down dog, step or float. If you float, land in chaturanga. Two thirds of the way down. Yeah, inhale, press into the tops of your feet, up dog or low cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog, three breaths. Inhale to fill. Exhale, let it go. Bend your knees, look forward, step or float, top of your mat. Inhale to lengthen, flat back, halfway lift. 
Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, root down, rise up, arms sweep overhead, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Once more like this. Inhale, arms float, reach high. Exhale, dive, bend your knees as you fold. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa, plant or plant your hands, step or float. Find your flow. We'll lead in downward facing dog. There's no rush. I'm going to invite you to take Ujjayi breath, conqueror's breath. So you keep your lips sealed. You inhale and exhale through your nose, rolling your breath through the back of your throat as it constricts. So it's that oceanic breath, as if you were fogging a mirror with your exhale. One more round. After your next exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or float, top of your mat. Inhale to lengthen, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, root down, rise up, arms sweep overhead, reach up. Exhale, hands come to heart. Pause here, samasthi to he, equal standing. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Interlace your palms at your low back. You decide which thumb's on top, maybe the more awkward one. And then draw your elbows towards one another. Shoulders start to snug towards the spine and then down your back, lift your heart. Find a little back bend here. Bring a little bend to your knees. Keep lifting your heart up, 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 drawing your chin towards your chest, back of your neck long. Take another breath in. And exhale, hinging at your waist, fold forward. Knees are deeply bent, yoga mudra. The crown of your head drops towards the earth as your knuckles reach skyward. See if you can walk your palms a little closer together. Outer upper arm bones hug in towards one another. And then actively move your shoulders away from your ears. Yeah. Take another breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, reach down, rise up, arms sweep overhead, reach high. As you exhale, sit straight back, Utkatasana, feet are hip distance apart. All right, so you're sitting back like you were in a chair. Outer upper arm bones are in line with your ears. Wrap your pinkies towards one another. Exhale, sit a little deeper and lift all 10 toes. Bring the weight to your heels and ground your toes. Inhale, pull your heart forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward here. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa, your way to down dog. Step or float. Use your breath as your guide here. Once you land in down dog, inhale, send your right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot all the way between your hands, pause here in a lunge. Right, activate your left thigh, moves up towards the sky. Draw your back heel forward so it's right over the ball of your foot. Then float your fingertips. As you inhale, sweep your arms straight back. Chest lifts like you were going to take off. Exhale, tuck your pelvis, arms come overhead, crescent lunge. Bring a little buoyancy into your hips, bending into your right knee. Right knee comes over your ankle. Bring a softness to that back leg so you can tuck your tail a bit here. Pubic bone draws to navel. Yeah. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. One more inhale, reach a little higher, maybe lift your heart. Exhale, hands come to heart, and we open the Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. So hips open along the left edge of your mat. Arms come parallel to the earth, bend into your right knee. Seal the outer edge of your left foot to the mat. Lift the inner arch of your back foot. Shoulder blades draw towards your spine, down your back. Gaze over right middle finger. And you find that balance. The balance between sthira and sukha, effort and ease. Strength and surrender. Take another breath in. And another breath out. Flip your right palm, reach forward. Exhale, sweep it back. Reverse your warrior, peaceful warrior. Left hand is super light, just rest on the back leg. Then reach your right fingertips towards the back of your mat so you can straighten the arm. Keep the bend in your right knee and keep extending through your right side body. Yeah, take a breath in. Take a breath out. 
One more inhale, reach a little farther. As you exhale, we'll rise up, straighten your right leg. Hinging forward, hip shift to the back. Right fingertips forward, Trikonasana. Right hand to the outer edge, your right shin, ankle, or a block. Left hand to your low back, tuck your pelvis. Navel towards your spine, open your chest. And from there, extend your left arm overhead, Trikonasana. That right arm super light, right? You might even float it, the lower arm, or you could wrap it around the front of your body, grabbing your outer hip. And you also could extend it straight out, engaging your core, draw your navel to your spine. Final option, extend your left arm alongside your ear, reaching towards the top of your mat. Strong through both feet. Find that ujjayi, conqueror's breath. Inhale, exhale through your nose, rolling the exhale through the back of your throat. Take another breath in and out. Right arm lowers, left arm lifts. Rise all the way up, inhale. Exhale, bend back into your right knee. Yeah, right elbow comes to your right knee. Left arm sweeps alongside your ear for extended side angle. Stay right here, right hand can come to your right ankle, right, or a prop. You take a half bind, right, or a full bind. Right arm comes underneath and grab fingertips. Take another breath in. And a deep breath out. One more inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist a little deeper. You're gonna bind, release it. Left arm reaches straight. Inhale, we rise back up, Virabhadrasana two. Exhale, windmill your hands down to the earth. Pause here in your lunge, in your low lunge. Inhale, pull your heart forward, look forward. As you exhale, you're gonna step up. Shifting your weight on your right foot, draw your left knee all the way into your chest. Beautiful. And then we'll open the left knee to the side and we'll find tree rakasana. So left sole of your foot comes either to your ankle, your shin, or your upper quad, just not right at your knee joint. And then hands come to heart space, tree pose. So press down through all four corners of your right foot. Engage your right leg so the muscles press back into your left foot. Stay right here, float your arms overhead. Palms can stay touching or open wide. Soften your shoulders. Right, steady your gaze and wherever it is that you're looking, like look there softly with less intensity. In any hard edges or wrinkles on your face, just sort of relax. Grounded, rooted, steady, like a tree. Another few breaths. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. On your next exhale, hands come back to your heart space. I'm just going to turn to the back front of my mat. Good. And from here, draw your left knee back into your chest. Hug it way up. Inhale. Exhale, we step it all the way back to our crescent lunge. Arms float overhead. Inhale. Good. Exhale, hands come down on the mat. Step back. Plank. Option to keep your right leg lifted as you exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, both feet plant. Pull your heart forward, up dog or low cobra. Exhale, hips move up and back, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale, left leg high, three like a dog. Exhale, step your left foot all the way between your hands. And we're in our lunge on the other side. So the right quad now is engaged and reaching skyward. The left hip moves back. And then we'll float our fingertips, hug your inner thighs together. Lift your arms straight back, lift your torso a bit like you were taking off. Inhale. Exhale, tuck your tail, arms float overhead. Crescent lunge, other side. Right, bend into that front knee. Your knee goes right over your ankle. Bring a little bend if you'd like to into your back knee so that you can tuck your tail. Belly draws in and up. And we rest here for a moment, right? Steady gaze, steady breath. And notice the sensation, the quality of the sensation. Where are you experiencing this? In the top of the right thighs and your hips. 
One more breath, inhale, reach a little higher, maybe lift your heart a little back bend. Exhale, hands come to heart and we open to warrior two. And I'm just gonna turn on my mat. So you bend into your left knee now. Both hips are open to the side of the mat. Seal the outer edge of your right foot to the earth and lift the inner arch of your back foot. Belly draws in and up, tuck your tail. Arms come parallel to the earth. Gaze over left middle finger. And it's like you're extending in opposite directions here. You stay at center, heart center, and from there, you reach in opposite directions. Shoulders soften. Finding that balance between effort and ease. Right, control and surrender. Stira and sukha. Another couple breaths. And flip your left palm, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, sweep it all the way back. Peaceful warrior, right hand is soft, left arm is straight if you can, extend it alongside your ear. Keep bending into your left knee, open through your side body, reach, reach, reach. Another few breaths. Last one, inhale, reach a little farther. Exhale, rise up straight in your left leg. Inhale, hinging forward, reach, reach, reach. Right hip moves back. And we exhale into Trikonasana Triangle. Left hand to the outside of your left shin, ankle, or on a block. Right hand to your, your sacrum, tuck your tail, then float the right arm overhead. Right, your hips are stacked, your shoulders are stacked. Your gaze can be up towards the extended arm. It can be down at your toe, could be to the side. And then play with the variation you took on the other side. Maybe you float the left fingertips so it's really light, engage your core. Maybe you wrap the left arm over to your right hip. Or you extend your left arm straight out towards the top of your mat. Option to extend the right arm with it. Navel to spine, engage your core, press into both feet. That right thigh is rolling, in, that inner thigh is rolling up, 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 opening, right hip opens. Another few breaths. And the left fingertips come back to your leg. Inhale, the right arm lifts. Then exhale, we rise back up, bend in the left knee, very much asana two. Take a breath in. Exhale, into extended side angle. Left elbow comes to your left knee. Your right arm sweeps right alongside your ear to the top of your mat. Straight line. Stay here. Left hand can come to a block or to your left ankle. Right arm can come behind your back, taking the bind. Right full bind. Left arm comes under. You grab your hands. Right, and just because you can go into a full bind doesn't mean it's always the best variation for you. It depends on the day. To me, for me today, I'm not going there. Another few breaths as you inhale, lengthen your spine, reach through the crown of your head. As you exhale, you twist a little deeper. One more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Then you gently come out, left elbow comes back to the knee, right arm overhead, inhale. Exhale, rise up, Vera two. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fingertips to the mat, pause here, framing your left foot, we're in our low lunge. Right, and as you inhale, shift your weight to your left foot, come all the way up to stand, right knee draws into your chest. Exhale, open your knee to the side, and find your variation of Rakasana tree pose. Right sole of your foot comes to your ankle, shin, or quad. Activate your left standing leg so it presses back into your foot. <clears throat> Hands come to heart. They stay here, arms float overhead. Palms can touch or open wide. Steady, soft gaze. Set your drishti, your focused gaze. Find your breath. Welcoming all the little micro movements, like the tree swaying in the breeze. Noticing the nature of your mind in response to whatever's arising.
Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Hands come to heart. Right knee comes back into your chest. So from here, you're going to step all the way back to your crescent lunge. Arms float overhead. Nice and light. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step straight back. Plank pose. Option to keep the left leg lifted. Exhale, lower two-thirds of the way. Inhale, press to the tops of your feet. Up dog or little cobra. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Few breaths here. Finding hand, hand, foot, foot. Or you can always rest in child's pose instead. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. On your next inhale, send your right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot all the way between your hands again. Here we are in our lunge. Yeah. This time as you inhale, straight in your right leg. Move your right hip up and back. Yeah. And if you'd like to, lift your toes, draw them up towards your face, breathing into the belly of your right hamstring. Dropping your back heel towards the earth, opening through your calf. Right hip keeps moving back, left hip keeps drawing forward. You could place your hands on props, right? Or you could still walk, start to walk your fingertips back towards your back foot as you fold over your right leg. A few more breaths. Walk your fingertips forward again. As you inhale, bend back into your right knee, plant your foot, pull your heart forward. As you exhale, we'll shift again into the right foot, draw your left knee into your chest, rising up, okay? So from here, the knees in towards your chest. Okay, you're gonna stay right here, or take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toe, okay? So this is option two, keep the knee bent, right hand can be on your hip. Option three is to extend your left leg out in front, okay? So breathe in here, strong through your right standing leg. Soften your shoulders. If you find that you're rounding way forward and crunching, maybe bend the knee. Right? Keep the integrity of the body. Right? Then from wherever you are, open the knee or the leg out to the side. And the option here to extend your right arm out in the opposite direction. And my gaze towards the right fingertips. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. And as you inhale, bring the left leg back out in front, release the toes, extend your leg out, reach your arms up. Okay, so it looks like this. Any amount, it might be an inch off the floor, lift it as high as you can, inhale, reach high. Exhale, bend the knee, sweep it back. You're gonna step all the way back to Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. So feet are hip distance apart, seal the outer edge of your back foot, bend into your right knee, reach your arms high. Yeah, your left hip draws forward, your left ribs follow. Bend a little bit deeper, inhale, reach a little higher. Exhale, soften your shoulders. Another breath, inhale, reach a little higher. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step back, option to keep the right leg lifted as you lower three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, pull your heart forward, up dog. Exhale, hips up and back down dog, washing it away. Other side, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step the left foot all the way between your hands, pause here in our lunge. As you inhale, you lift your hips straight in your left leg. Toes and foot can stay on the mat or lift your foot so you're on your heel. Yeah, left hip moves back. Right hip draws forward and start to drop your back heel towards the mat. Fingertips stay as they are on the earth. You could prop them, right? Put your hands on blankets, pillows, blocks, or start to walk your fingertips back behind you and fold over your left leg. Find that ujjayi, conquerors, oceanic breath. Breathing in and out through your nose, making the sound of the washing waves with each exhale. A 
few more breaths. And walk your fingertips back to frame your left foot, lower the toes, bend into your left knee, inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, shift your weight into your left foot, step all the way up to stand, right knee into your chest now. Good, so stay right here, option one, holding your knee. Option two, peace fingers come to your big toe, the knee stays bent, left hand comes to your left hip. Option three, extend your right leg. Lower your right hip so it meets the left, it often wants to pop up here. Breath in and breath out. Then from here, we'll open the knee or the extended leg out to the right. Option to bring the left arm up to the side. Yeah. Gaze might follow left fingertips. Another few breaths. Find that conqueror's breath. Let that be your focus rather than the rampant mind here. Take one more breath. I'm gonna extend your right leg out long again, float your arms overhead, keep the leg lifted, inhale. And exhale. One more inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, send it straight back out to the right edge of your mat, your Vajrasana one, warrior one. So there's some width between your feet, they're hip distance apart. Right hip draws to the top of your mat, right ribs follow. Soften your shoulders, lift the inner arch of your back foot, steady your gaze. Few breaths here. Inhale, reach a little higher, full expression. Exhale, hands come down on the mat, step back, plank, left leg lifts, option, right, lower, three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, press into palms, up dog or low cobra. Exhale, hips up and back down, we're chasing dog. Take a deep breath in through your nose, fill up. Open your mouth, exhale, sigh it out. And then drop your knees to the mat, yeah. Come up to your forearms here. So your hips stay right over your knees and start to walk your elbows forward and then drop your forehead and chest. Forearms can stay on the mat or bend at the elbows and start to walk on maybe even a little farther forward. Palms touch and thumbs come behind the base of your skull. Puppy dog. Leave a nice deep heart opener. Opens through our back, upper back body. And begin to steady your breath. Few more rounds. And then release your forearms back to the mat. And draw your hips forward, tuck your toes under, and then lift your knees up so we're in a forearm plank here. And you notice if your hips are lifted way up or they're sagging really low, find that plank, right? Like a plank of wood. Draw your navel in and up, press the earth away into your forearms. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. One more inhale, draw your navel to your spine. And then exhale, lower your knees, lower the tops of your thighs, lower the tops of your feet. Slide your forearms forward a little bit here, Sphinx pose. So your elbows are a little bit more na narrow than shoulder distance and about an inch in front of your shoulders. Press into your forearms, draw your shoulders away from your ears, pull your heart forward, gaze forward. Open your mouth, release your jaw. Maybe slide your jaw from side to side. Ah. Let your pelvis get really heavy, feel your pubic bone pressing into the earth. And as you do this, notice if you clench through your glutes, right, soften your glutes while keeping your pelvis heavy. Press into forearms, pull heart forward even more, shoulders away from ears. Another few breaths. And on your next exhale, 
Elbows come wide, stack your palms, rest your forehead on your hands, rock your hips from side to side. And bring your chin or forehead to the mat, bring your arms alongside your body. And then interlace your hands at your low back, whichever thumb you didn't do before. So maybe it's the less awkward one now. And draw your shoulder blades towards your spine, draw your elbows towards one another, draw your feet and legs together. From here, begin to straighten your arms, lift your forehead, your chest, your feet, your legs. Shalambasana, locust pose. Belly down, back bend. Right, you're pressing down to lift up. Everything hugs into the midline of your body. Take one more breath, inhale. And exhale, lower down. Bring one ear down to the earth. Just rock your hips from side to side. And forehead or chin come back to the mat. We'll take one more. So you can take a low fist again, feet and legs together, right? Or bend your knees, reach back for your ankles or the tops of your feet, right? And then from here, you move your shins to the back of the room, your feet up towards the sky, and you lift up. See if you can get your thighs to come off the mat without spreading out wide. Knees stay hip distance apart. Flexing your feet. Keep drawing the shins to the back of the room. Feet up to the sky. Take a few more breaths. Last one. Inhale. Reach a little higher. Exhale. Lower all the way down. Bring the opposite ear down. Move your hips from side to side or windshield wiper your ankles from side to side. Hmm. And extend your legs out long on the mat. Bring your palms underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes under, lift your knees, lift your thighs. From here, you can either, um, you could keep your knees down and come to table or press straight up to plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, leg forward, draw your right knee in towards your chest, come to plank. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Then press it back. Good, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, press it back. Exhale, right knee to right wrist, and we'll lower the knee, shin, and ankle for pigeon pose. Tucking your back toes under, walk your top thigh back. Are you finding any support that you may need for your pelvis here underneath your right sitting bone? May inhale, pull your heart forward, and exhale, fold forward. You can come to your forearms, you could use a prop to support you, stack your fists, support your head, right, or bring your head all the way down to the mat. Resting here. Notice the sensation through your right hip or its qualities. Where is it exactly? Like, can you pinpoint where it's the most vibrant? Can you pinpoint any areas in which you're resisting letting go? Can you loosen your grip? What's happened to your breath? more rounds of breath here. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And press into your fingertips or palms, slowly rise up, pull your heart forward. We'll pause here for a moment, drawing your fingertips back closer to your hips, pull your heart between your arms. All right, we'll take a lion's breath here. So in a lion's breath, you open your mouth, stick out your tongue on exhale, and roll your eyes up and back. No one's watching. Inhale to fill. 
Exhale, lion's breath. And plant your palms, tuck your back toes, step straight back to down dog or take a vinyasa, All right? Yogi's choice. Meeting in down dog, take a moment to pedal your legs out, notice the difference between right and left side. Mm. And inhale, send your left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw your left knee to your chest, come forward, plank hover. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. See if you can make it touch. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. See if you can touch. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, draw the left knee to the left wrist. Lower your knee, chin and ankle. Keep your right toes tucked so you lift the back knee, walk it back. Find any support for your left sitting bone now, a blanket, a block. Inhale, pull your heart forward. And exhale, folding forward. Akapada, pigeon on the other side. And it can feel really nice to find something to support your forehead. The earth, a prop, palms or fifth. And you relax your jaw, soften your shoulders. Observe the space around your left hip. Right? Notice if you're resisting, letting go. And if you're gripping anywhere in your pelvic floor or around your left hip. Find your breath and receive here. And draw a deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Bring your fingertips under your shoulders as an inhale to lift your chest out. Right, we'll exhale here. Walk your fingertips back closer to your hips. Pull your heart forward, lengthen your spine. Your crab pigeon, king pigeon. From here, we'll take a lion's breath. Inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, stick out your tongue, roll your eyes back. Go ahead and plant your palms, step back to a final down dog or a final vinyasa. Find a little movement. Okay. Once you're ready, we'll drop our knees to the earth, cross ankles, come to sit. Okay, Baddha Konasana. So bring the soles of your feet together with your knees open wide yeah and you can scoot your heels in as close as you'd like to your seat i like to hold this the outsides of my feet here as you inhale lengthen through your spine sit tall you could always sit on the edge of a blanket here if you'd like to so you exhale bend your elbows and fold forward okay once more it's an inhale to lengthen your spine even as you're folded Right, and then exhale, move a little bit deeper. Then drop your head. Another few breaths. On your next inhale, slowly rise up. Exhale at the top. 
And then from here, draw your knees together. Send both legs out long on the mat, please. And then you walk your, move your yoga bits to the side so your sitting bones are on the earth. Again, you could sit on the edge of a blanket. Bring your fingertips to the side of your body or behind you. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward, lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold forward, right? So your legs can be straight. Your knees also can bend here and support you. Ashimotanasana, take a forward fold. A few breaths here. On your next inhale, slowly rise up. Exhale at the top. Good. Then you'll scoot to the top of your mat. Make your way all the way down onto your back, please. Hugging your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze, apanasana. Rock from side to side. Or make circles. Take a supine twist. Moving your hips to the right, let your knees fall to the left. Right arm opens out to the side, left arm comes to the side. Now you could take a, a bind crossing the top leg over the bottom. You know, take about five breaths on each side here. Unwinding your spine. And again, you're finding that balance between control and surrender. So between forcing and letting go. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And use an inhale to come back through to center, bring pelvis back to center and switching sides, hips move to the left, knees fall to the right, right knees stack, left arm, arms open, chest skyward, right option to take the bind, top leg over the bottom. And you decide where your gaze goes. breath in, deep breath out, and then draw your knees back through to center, and then hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze, and stay right here, take happy baby, flexing your feet, and knees come wide, holding the outsides of your feet, draw your knees to the earth. Stay still or rock from side to side. Hmm. Another few breaths. And then release your feet. If there's any final postures you want to take to complete your practice, a, a, a supported bridge, a bridge, a wheel. Um, shoulder stand or head stand, right? You're welcome to, to do that. That's, I'm going to lead us into Shavasana, which you also can um, move right into. So whenever you're ready to take Shavasana, your legs extend out long on the mat, your ankles fall open, give your armpits some room to breathe. And you allow your body to take rest here. Let go of any final effort. Let go of any control of your breath.
Letting your body be heavy, supported by the earth beneath you. Opening to receiving now the beautiful benefits of your practice. By taking rest in Shavasana. Complete surrender. Allow your breath to begin to deepen. Invite some gentle movement back into your body, putting fingers and toes. And draw your knees to your chest, and roll to one side, pause here for a breath or two. And then press up to our final seat, please. Sitting tall, prepping, propping your hips up on something. Finding a long spine. And allow your eyes to close. Honoring and feeling the subtle effects of your practice, your asana. Echoes, resonance. Let me draw a deep breath in through the nose, filling up. Open your mouth, exhale, let it go. Draw your hands to your heart center, Anjali Mudra, on the palm in front of your chest, and call on your intention or your dedication. And then we'll seal our practice today with chanting the sacred sound of Om and Shanti. So three Oms and three Shantis, and invocation of peace, peace within ourselves, and peace for all living beings.
bowing your head to your heart. May your practice be a means of inner listening and becoming. Together we say, Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here and have a really beautiful rest of your day.